Things Heard and Seen, directed by Shuri Stringer Birdman and Robert Pulshinsky. Uh, Amanda Seyfried and James Norton star in this n- new movie on Netflix uh, about newly married family with a young daughter. James Norton's character, George, gets offered a job in the farm town of Chosen, New York. George and Catherine move into this remote home in this small town with their daughter, Fanny. Catherine begins to feel isolated as she soon finds a spirit living with them in this haunted house. We see their marriage crumble as this dark spirit divides them. Uh, the film also stars Natalie Dreyer, Rhea Seahorn, Alex Neustadter, and F. Murray Abraham as well. To start off, I really like the opening credits of the movie. The text font set the tone that the movie's going to be creepy and scary with the backward letters and eerie music playing along with the credits. Uh, I was set to explore this haunted house and see how the family battles the spirit. Ultimately, though, I was let down because this was not that movie at all. I thought it was. The movie was not scary at all to me. Uh, A relation to the Bible was attempted to be the cause of the ghosts, yet the ghosts never really did anything in the movie except make weird sounds, flickering the lights, and then made the nightlight explode once. The movie was more focused on the destruction of Catherine and George's marriage than a haunted house or the spirit within that house. The movie's runtime was just over two hours. The pace of the movie was extremely slow to me. Each scene seemed to linger on trying to build tension. I felt my attention fading, though, from the movie as a slow burn of the movie made me sleepy. By the climax, so much was going on with George trying to balance too many problems. This diluted the main focus of their marriage and the problems they were having. Each problem was not as impactful because of how much was going on. Certain character choices were never explained as well. For example, Catherine does not eat and is always concerned about her weight, puking it up after she eats a dinner. Uh, We never really get explanations for these actions. I had no clue why this character did some of the actions she did in the movie. It was just never explained to me and I felt lost for the most of the movie. Unfortunately, I thought the movie was just blah. Not good, not bad, it's just forgettable. I thought it was quite pointless. Uh, I think it's worse, this is worse than being bad. I certainly forget this movie quickly. Nothing about it resonated with me. I could care less about this movie, but I give Things Heard and Seen a 35 out of 100. This movie is available on Netflix now. I would say to skip it, but go check it out for yourself and let me know in the comments what you think of the movie and your thoughts as well. See ya.